People see me as a man in a big ministry because they always see me in the big platform. But recently, God asked me a question. He said, my son, what are you up to? What are you up to? What is the picture that you have in your mind? And I said, Lord, I don't have any picture. I don't have any picture. I don't have my picture of being on the platform. I don't have a picture of me being in the big ministry, standing in front of a big crowd. Lord, I don't have any picture. All I want is my heart to please your heart. People ask me, what do you pray? What do you pray? Even this morning I was praying. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I was praying. The most word I spoke when I was praying, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you with all my heart, with all my effort. This is all I can say. Please trap me into the first love. This is where I belong. I'm not called for deliverance. I'm not called for healing or ministry. I'm called to love you, Lord. This is my first calling. That is why I always represent myself as a bride, not a pastor, not an apostle, not a prophet, nothing, not an evangelist. I'm just a young bride of Jesus Christ who loves Jesus with all my heart, with all my effort. Bride, loving the bridegroom with all the heart and the effort. And God is looking, Jesus is looking for the pure brides. He is looking for the pure brides. This bridegroom is a bridegroom, but at the same time, he's very glorious king. Look at my eyes right now. Look at my eyes. When you are looking at my eyes right now at this moment, this glorious king is sitting on the throne at this moment. The one who sits on the throne, the one who sits on the throne is not a fairy tale. The one who sits on the throne is not a theory. The one who sits on the throne is so real. He's, he's so real, glorious king who is sitting on the throne at this right moment. You are listening to my voice and looking at my eyes right now. And the worship is going 24 hours, 365 days. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. To the one who sits on the throne, to the Lamb, be the glory, be the honor, be the wisdom, be the power, be the praise. This worship, the unending song is going 24 hours, 365 days. Right this moment, you are looking at me right now. He's a glorious king. And this king has called you to be the pure bride. In the real, you're in the relationship with the king. The relationship with the king is not a relationship of negotiation. When the king calls you to become the pure bride, you cannot go and negotiate with the king. There is no negotiation. When the king says yes, it is yes. When the king says no, it is no. When the king says A, it is A. When the king says B, it is B. When the king says A, you cannot go to the king and say, Sir, can you? Please help me to become C. No. The relationship with the king is not a relationship with negotiation. The king has called you to become the pure bride. What is pure bride? Pure bride is giving the full, whole life. Your emotion, your thought, your imagination, your desire, your strategy, your plan. Everything to the bridegroom. The bridegroom and bride. Is a serious relationship that the body has to become one but nowadays there are so many Christians with so many bridegrooms so many bridegrooms something that you love equally to Jesus or something that you love more than Jesus Christ is your another bridegroom if you have more than one bridegroom is adultery adultery is idolatry idolatry is adultery it is a serious relationship then you think of it. It's so much more serious. It's the relationship of the king and the servant, of the bridegroom and the bride. You don't joke with that. You don't joke with your wife. You don't joke with your husband. It's a serious relationship. The bridegroom is calling you to be the bride, to give everything to the bridegroom. So many bridegrooms you have. 
Sometimes a ministry can be your another break. You love ministry more than Jesus. It's so possible. This message is not for non-Christians. This message is for non-Christians and also Christians. There are so many Christians. Not all of them are the pure bride. It can be your addiction, another bridegroom, hatred, unforgiveness, love of money, love of fame, love of ministry, unclean relationship, anything contrary to Jesus Christ, anything that you love more than Jesus, anything that you love equally to Jesus. But you know what? He's so worthy. He deserves it. He's so worthy for you to give all your heart, all your imagination, all your thought, all your willingness, all your flesh, everything about you to Jesus Christ. He's so worthy to receive all your, all your life. He's sitting on the throne at this moment. His eyes are like blazing fire. His, uh, his face is like shining sun. His voice is like rushing water. <sighs> He's sitting on the throne. And there are four living creatures worshiping day and night. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And there are 24 other thrones. And the 24 elders are sitting around on the 24 other thrones with gold crown and white clothes. And the, when the four living creatures are worshiping, these 24 elders join the worship. The 24 elders come down from the throne, put their crown down the floor. And their body on the floor and worship together join the four living creature worshiping holy 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 is the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come to the one who sits on the throne to the lamb be the glory be the wisdom be the power be the praise be the honor this is happening right now 24 hours this worship is happening the throne right now when you're under the influence of my voice, even you people in the second century, when you're under the influence of my voice, this worship on the throne is happening right now. It's not a fairy tale. It's so real. It's real. It's real right now at this moment. And this glorious King is looking for the pure brides on the last day. On the last day, he will look for the pure brides. On the last day, he will not look for people, oh, how many demons you cast out, how many signs and wonders you performed, how many followers you have, how many businesses you have, how much you have in your bank account. Is your father a man of faith? Your father cannot save you. Is your mother a man of a woman of faith your mother cannot save you is your individual personal relationship with Jesus Christ the relationship of bridegroom and the bride on the last day he will look for the pure bride the pure bride no excuse no opinion he will not ask you how much Ministry, your ministry was big or not? Do you have a ministry? Do you have a big ministry? Do you have a small ministry? Are you a worship leader? Did you sing every week? How many albums did you produce? No. Are you the pure bride of the bridegroom who sits on the throne, the glorious King Jesus Christ?